So because you clicked on this video, you obviously want less input delay and better FPS, but there's one thing you need to know first. What you need to know is that not everybody's system is gonna feel the same. Some of us have different specs and different consoles, and because of that, not all of our input delay is gonna be the same, and we're not gonna all have the same amount of FPS. And if you're on current gen or new gen console, it will also depend on your FPS. And don't worry, I'm not gonna have you download the sketchy FPS pack that's barely gonna do anything. These are actual real tips that you can do yourself. And we're finna get right to the tips, but before we do, make sure you go follow the Twitch. We be live over there but anyways make sure you drop a like and comment on the video if these tips help you and without further ado let's get right into the video okay so now that we're in fortnite let's go to the settings and for you console players one setting that you want to make sure that you have turned off is motion blur motion blur may feel like it's making your game smooth and silky but it's actually not it's dropping your fps by a lot and you don't even know motion blur gives you a lot of input delay so that is one of the main settings that you need to have off on console and if you're on pc make sure you have these settings on right here Full screen, 1920 by 1080, beasting off, and your FPS and frame rate really depends up to you, but rendering mode should always be on performance mode. Now for your graphic settings, I have my brightness all the way up and I'm gonna try to know 10 because it makes your game look so much brighter. Like if I go down to 100, look how dark, look how sharp the shadows are. Like this just does not look right to me. I prefer to be on max brightness. Now if you're on a lower end PC, and you wanna get a little bit of better FPS, you could turn down your 3D resolution to like 90, no lower than 80, because it does make your game look very pixelated. Like you can see the edges on the character isn't as good. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep mine on 100 for now. Now your view distance and texture, you could turn these all the way down and you put your texture on high if you have a lower end graphics card, but I have these settings like this just for recording purposes. Now coming over here to the game tab, if you're on console, you need to have game replays turned off. Replays is taking up so much storage and so much space on your system, so make sure you have these turned off. You will get a big FPS boost. So if you're new to the game, you definitely wanna have these turned off. And if you're on PC, you need to have these energy saving settings turned off because it's making your game do unnecessary stuff in the background for no reason. And trust me, you do not want your game doing extra when you don't have to. This will limit the power consumption of your system and in return, it will give you way less performance. So make sure you have these turned off. Now, if we come over here to the game UI tab, this really up to preference, but if you want the maximum amount of FPS, make sure you copy these settings right here. Make sure you have creative runtime performance stats turned off because there's always gonna be something running in the background and you don't want that. Now if you come over to gyro, make sure you have all these turned off because you don't want your game doing unnecessary stuff in the background that it doesn't have to. So trust me, having all these set to off or none will be way better for you and you get way more FPS. And especially if you're on controller because you don't want your game in the background searching for compatible controllers that aren't even there. And plus, gyro is useless anyways, why have it on? Now for my controller players, make sure you have vibration turned off. I don't know, it's just something when you play with vibration on, it feels like it's a lot more input delay. And plus, it throws off your aim. And if you're on keyboard, make sure you have foot controller turned off. Now this is kind of the same thing with the gyro settings to where Fortnite will constantly look for things that are like a foot controller and it'll be doing unnecessary stuff in the background like I said. If if you want to see a more in-depth guide on my controller settings, click the cards above. Now if you come over to the audio tab, most of this is honestly up to preference, but the sound quality, you should have that on low. It doesn't change anything except for the pump shotgun sound, so trust me, it won't change any of the footsteps or any of the shots or anything like that, just make sure you have it on low. If for your subtitles, make sure you have these turned all the way down. They don't do anything and people don't really use them, so make sure you have them turned down. Now if we come over to the controller binds, and if you're on PC, one thing you can do to get more FPS, you can put your controller on generic. Trust me, this gives you way less input delay, and it is a big difference. Now, unfortunately, this option is only available for PC. But just know, if you do use generic, it messes with the input curve of your controller. And another thing you can do to reduce input delay is buy your Switch Mode slash Edit. Edit is so much faster with this, and trust me, a lot of pros use this. Now, I don't have my change material binded, but that's because there's just simply not enough buttons on a controller. You can use paddles, but... I don't. Now, if you have this binding, I can't switch my material, and I know that's not the most optimal binds, but it does give you the less amount of input delay. So make sure you replace a bind that you don't ever use on your controller with this. But make sure you keep your regular switch mode and your regular edit. Now, another thing you could do to get less input delay on PC and controller, bind your switch quick bar to any random key on your keyboard. I don't know why, but for some reason, the keyboard binds and the keyboard sensitivities have something to do with the controller binds and the controller sensitivities. I don't know why it's weird, but I turned this on and I didn't notice a difference, so you should definitely try it. Now, I think this kind of goes without saying, but if you're on console, you have to play wired. If you're not playing wired, that means you're playing on Bluetooth, and there's a delay between the controller and your console with a Bluetooth connection. So if you're playing on a court that's less than six feet, you get the least amount of input delay possible. With Bluetooth, there'll always be a few milliseconds of delay. Another thing you could do is make sure your console have enough air. Y'all don't be letting y'all PS4 breathe, so that's why it sounds like a jet engine. 
And this goes with your PCs too. If your PC doesn't have enough cooling, the fans are working harder, they're spinning faster, they're using more power, and all that power could be going to the game, but no, it's working harder to cool off your system. Don't put your PC on carpet and don't have your console stuck in a cabinet because it's not getting enough air circulation. Now I know I told you guys that you wasn't gonna have to download any kind of sketchy pack, but if you click the link in the description and download this software, it's called Anti-Micro. This is the real secret right here. A lot of pros use this, so trust me, it's safe to download. Even if you do play wired, and if you do take all the precautions to get the least amount of input delay as possible, if you're on controller, there will still be some kind of amount of input delay, because that's just how Windows is. When I say Windows, I mean your Windows operating system. It will always give controller that little bit of input delay that you could just tell is there. So if you come over here to Anti-Micro, and you plug in your controller, you can see like any button I press on my controller, you can see it pops up and it lights up. So don't worry about these axes right here. Don't worry about that. You want to worry about the button. So if you click on the first button, you need to turn turbo on, then go to advanced settings, go to turbo, and turn this all the way down. Click enable and turn this all the way down. I'm not sure what this number is on by default, but make sure you turn it all the way down. You need to do that same thing for all the buttons and even the ones that say no key. And once you've done that for every button on your controller, make sure you save it. You see mine says wireless controller joystick one. Yeah, make sure you save it and do it for every button on your controller. This is the secret to real true input delay that most pros don't tell you. But that is all I got for this video today, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you go follow the Twitch. We'll be live over there. I'll be streaming almost every day. And trust me, you don't want to miss out on crazy clips like this. Uh, maybe someone that knows you got a girlfriend, bro. Bro, uh, really? Bro, really sub? Like, holy shit. All right, bro. What? Say that. Find it over. All right, but I got you, 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 I got you. Niggas want me to take the bonnet off so bad. Niggas want me to take the bonnet off so bad. Psych, bitch. <laughs> oh, you think I didn't prepare for that shit? Oh, you think I didn't prepare for that shit, nigga? Double bonnet up, fuck is you talking about? What the fuck? Double bonnet up, fuck is you talking about? But it's Witcher, I'm out. Peace.